Hello N93. I'm using the old eyesight camera instead of the Microsoft Life Cam because there's too much light in here for the Microsoft Life Cam. So it's not in HD, but oh well. Uh, I want to talk a little about how some pagans like to lump all Abrahamic religions together. Oh, they all worship the same God. They all use the same text. They're all alike. That's not correct. The Quran isn't the tonic. The Christian Bible isn't the tonic. And you might say, oh, well, the Christian Bible includes the Old Testament. One, it's not the Old Testament. There is no New Testament, New Covenant to supersede it. To the Christians there is, but not to Jews. Number two, the tonic is in Hebrew. When you translate it, you lose a lot in the translation. Number three, <laughs> that's only one half of the Torah. When the Torah was given to Moses, and I believe that's a myth, but when the Torah was given to Moses, he received the written Torah and the oral Torah, which was later codified in the Talmud, is how Jews interpret the Torah. Without it, you're only getting half the picture. Then you translate that half a picture into English and you're getting a quarter of the picture. So you can't look at the Old Testament and discover what Judaism is about. You're missing out on a lot. And then, of course, the Quran is not the tonic. The Christians don't follow the tonic. They follow the New Testament and basically just refer back to the Old Testament, as they call it. And you get a lot of diversity between those three religions. You can't say all Abrahamic religions are the same any more than you can say all pagan religions are the same. All pagans are the same because you've got an umbrella term to describe them. Now let's go into some of these differences. And the tonic, it says that a fetus is the property of the parents. It does not say it's a human being yet. It has the potential to be a human being. If you kill a fetus, if you kill somebody else's fetus, you got to pay restitution to them for the loss. You got to pay them money. If you harm the mother while you're killing the fetus, then it's an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. In Christianity, abortion is murder and is against God's commandments. In the Talmud, I believe it's in the Talmud, it says that for the first 40 days after conception, a fetus is as water. So you've got a noticeable difference there. Another difference, when you look at the creation stories in Genesis, I say creation stories because Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 are two different creation stories. They contradict each other. If you look at the two, they contradict each other. And when animals were created, when man and when women were created. But Genesis 2 is about Chokmah and Bina. The creative and nurturing aspects of God combining to form humanity. And it's not about scientifically forming humanity. And I agree with the guy who wrote the Kabbalistic Mirror of Genesis in that. It is about how man became a spirit, which is part of God, and an animal soul in a body of flesh. How he came under the curse of duality, why he's on this earth. It's about all of that. The Garden of Eden wasn't really on earth. It was in the spiritual realm. And it's all metaphor. It's myth. But it describes, hey, this is how you got to be in the state you're in. Not how you as a human being were created. So there's a lot of difference there. You know, a Christian looks at verse 1 of Genesis 1 and says, In the beginning God created heavens and earth. And I, okay, God created the heavens and earth. To a lot of Jews, we're still in the beginning. We are partners in creation with God. God is still creating the heavens and the earth. 
into the creation he wants them to be, and we're helping. Another thing is a Christian, a fundamentalist Christian, will look at Leviticus and say homosexuals are an abomination to God, whereas a Jew might look a couple of chapters down and see eating catfish, shrimp, and oysters is an abomination to God. The word translated as abomination is ritually unclean. Why was it ritually unclean for two males to lie together? Because that meant at that time they had no concept of homosexuality, but that meant that this person went to a pagan temple and had sex with a temple prostitute because the male gods had male temple prostitutes who were the embodiment of God. And to have communion with that God, you would have sex with his temple prostitutes. So they were practicing paganism. Why was that important? Why was it so taboo to practice pagan practices? Because they were a culture surrounded by pagan cultures. They did not want their culture to just disappear and dissolve into the surrounding culture. So they had to remain a separate and distinct people to survive and exist as Jews. You know, you look in Deuteronomy, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Akkad. Hear, O Israel, God is your God. God is one. A lot of Jews look at that and say, if you worship one God, you are worshiping my God, just in a different way. Adonai Akkad, God is one. A lot of Jews look at it and say, God is one. He's not three in one. He's not three. He's not a multitude. God is one. He is omnipresent. He is everywhere. He is in everything. There is no separation between us and God. God is everything. He's not off in heaven. He's not separate from us at all. We just don't perceive him in everything. But we can perceive him in everything and help to repair the world. Help as partners with God in creation to bring about the creation that God is trying to create. In Christianity, what you believe is more important than what you do. In Judaism, what you believe is almost unimportant. It's what you do. Good works make a good man. In the Talmud, they created the hereafter, the world to come. But not all Jews subscribe to that. Some believe in reincarnation. Some believe when you're dead, you're dead. We're not working for a life after death. We're doing our duty. We're doing our good works because that is what is expected of us. That is what we're supposed to do. That is what makes us good people. And I'm calling myself a Jew here. I'm a pre-Jew. I'm in the year-long conversion process. But there is a distinct difference between Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. You can't lump them all together, even though you've got an umbrella term to describe them. You know, there are Jews out there that go to synagogue that are Jews in every sense of the word, and they may not believe God exists, or they may have doubts, but they are still Jews. Yaakov, Jacob, the hill grabber, his name was changed to Israel. In Israel, one who wrestles with God, one who contends with God. And Jews throughout the centuries have wrestled with God. They've wrestled with religion, what they think, what you know, they think about spirituality, what they think about religion, what they think about God. And they don't all agree. And no one's telling them, you have to think this way. You know, what we think of as Freemasonry, what we think of as occultism, not what the media says is occultism, but occultism as occultists call it. All of this has been majorly influenced by Judaism because Jews are within their religion 
searching out God and asking questions and dealing with the hard philosophical ideas and thoughts. It's not a religion that says you do this because you're told to and you believe this way because you're told to. In the U.S., the Orthodox movement, which is the strictest, most conservative movement within Judaism, is about 10% of the Jewish population. The largest is Reform, which believes every person can educate himself, can deal directly with God, and find out what God wants for him in his life, and what commandments are relevant, and which ones are part of culture, and which ones are outdated, and what he should do and how he should act as a Jew. There is a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and man, and another person can't enforce things on him. You know, of course, there are general things, you know, thou shalt not kill and such as that, that, yeah, are universal. Now, if you're a good person, if you do good works, then above and beyond that, there is a lot of diversity and leeway. And we are simply not all the same because we're Abrahamic religions. Thank you in 93.